namo buddhaya this is abhinav kulecha and i welcome you uh, in this video i am going to share about buddha's views on the caste system see whatever i have uh, did in my research i understood was that buddha is was was against the the caste system that you know a person who is born in a particular uh, so basically in hinduism there is this thing about four castes uh, four varnas that means brahmins are there then kshatriya there there then vaishya and shudra right shudra are the lowest of the you know classes and they say that you know as per you know your karma you are born in particular caste and accordingly like only the brahmins can do the pujas and the rituals and uh, accordingly everyone can do their things so buddha was like in that time what uh, he was there he saw that you know these brahmins uh, uh, they did a lot of you know uh, exploited their position and uh, uh, charged high amounts for the rituals to perform it there was this this thing that only an only of a brahmin does a ritual then the person will get the mukti or moksha so he even uh, in one of the books uh, old path white clouds uh, i studied where uh, there was this instance where uh, buddha saw a, a very very poor person uh, losing his life only because he was not able to you no know, pay that much amount uh, you know to the brahmin for the ritual so all these things uh, uh, kind of hurt buddha and he was of the view and he he then expressed his view he was very clearly that a person does not uh, be- become a particular caste or, or by birth a person becomes a brahmin by his actions and even in the Dharm- dhammapada if you see the last of the few vers- verses around 401 onwards verses so there are total 423 verses so 401 onwards verses then buddha describes who is a true brahmin and even in the hindu scriptures which is upanishads they say that it is not by birth it is ba- basically by your actions by the purity of your actions that determines who is a brahmin and who is not right so here i came across this particular discourse which is middle discourse is 90 at kannathala the link to the uh, complete discourse is given in the description you can read the full description full discourse here basically uh, there was this thing where uh, a king pasanadi of kosala uh, arrived at ujjana for on some business and he got to talk to uh, buddha so so uh, king pasanadi asked that uh, there are four classes aristocrats brahmins peasants and menials is there any difference between them so buddha said buddha said so buddha first ex- explained the meaning of you know the practice you know five factors that support the meditation he said what five factors support the meditation first it's when a mendicant has faith in the realized one's awakening the blessed one is perfect fully awakened buddha so the first is the faith in the buddha and the awakening second they are rarely ill or unwell so they their stomach digests well be not hot or too cold but just right and fit for meditation third factor of meditation is they are not devious or deceitful fourth they live with energy roused up for giving up unskillful qualities and embracing skillful qualities fifth they are wise they have the wisdom of arising and passing away which is noble penetrative and leads to the complete ending of suffering so then buddha said that these are the five factors of med- five factors of the meditation so the king again asked that if sir there are these four classes aristocrats brahmins peasants and workers if they had these five factors that support meditation and if they practiced rightly would there be any difference between them so this was a very direct question to the buddha that king pasanadi put up that if a person irrespective of the caste follows all the five factors of meditation will there be any difference upon them so buddha said in that case i say there is no difference between the freedom of one and the freedom of the other so buddha now gives an analogy here a person took dry teak wood and lit a fire and produced heat then another person did the same using saw wood another used mango wood while another used wood of the cluster fig what do you think great king would there be any difference between the fires produced by these different kinds of wood that is in the flame in the color on the light so king said no so buddha said in the same way when the fire has been kindled by the energy and produced by the effort i say there is no difference between the freedom of one and the freedom of the other so here buddha is very very clear that it's not about the caste that you are born into it's basically about the effort that you put 
so that 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 is the crux of buddha's uh, teaching is that what we have to do is that in this life regardless of whatever caste that we 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 born in we have to start putting in the effort towards our awakening and whoever is putting that effort whoever is putting that effort they are all on par it's not that someone is less someone is high so it's like not that only a particular class of persons can become uh, fully realized there is another class of persons who will uh, who who cannot do pujas who who cannot do any spiritual practices who do not have the right to become realized all that we have to forget so what my uh, my learning from this is that my learning from this is that you know this caste system thing we have to take it out from our mind e- even if you are from a lower caste as per your whichever religion do not just just focus on going towards your spiritual awakening just focus on your spiritual awakening and do not think about you know a lot of things also one more thing uh, i want to say is that lot of you know uh, hindus they get you know dalits dalits they get converted into uh, into buddhism just because in the hinduism they do not have those rights but when they convert into the uh, uh, buddhism they you know lot of people i have seen who do not even follow the buddha's path that is wrong you whichever teacher you take may it be whichever religion like jesus is there or bhagwan krishna is there or buddha is there just keep religion aside you know religion is there to divide us we have to just follow the teachings of that teacher no need to convert your religion or something just follow the teachings of the teacher and take whatever teacher you resonate with and follow the teachings and go towards liberation do not get stuck in these lower things and one more thing what i have discovered is that you know buddha was the was the person in that time who stood up to this powerful caste of brahmins and that is why there is so much in the land where buddha got enlightened in india there is so much when i came started you know teaching about buddha's teachings and you know i i faced you know even hate comments and all from people because they they there is this particular caste that still exists today that feel challenged by what the buddha said so they suppress his knowledge and that is also one of the reasons that i am you know trying to take buddha's knowledge to the people because this knowledge is so transformative it has to reach out to more and more people they buddha challenged their authority they said the brahmin said that particular you know section of people you know in every community you have some good people and bad people even uh, when i was doing my research i came across that at that time when buddha challenge the authority of of brahmins that only they can you know take people to god and do the rituals so that they can achieve salvation even within that particular brahmin community there were many reformist brahmins who were seeing how people were getting cheated by uh, the by these people and they they also wanted that you know this kind of an absolute power that was given see it's the thing it's it's very you know uh, point thing is power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely right so important thing is and that's why buddha stood up and did this required courage on his part because then he had a lot of you know arguments with the buddhas uh, with the uh, brahmins and all because they because they knew that buddha's knowledge was so powerful if buddha's knowledge would have spread their whole power and authority would would be taken away right so so that is why they spread a lot of misinformation about buddha's teachings and he is a false god and all these things right so so important thing is that uh, as followers of buddha's teachings we will not uh, differentiate between any person between caste we will not get into this caste business anyone who is on the path we are all part of the sangha anyone who is following the path of the buddha anyone who is following not only the path of the buddha but any teacher and moving towards spiritual awakening we have to have a lot of respect right we will not be divided by these people who try to divide us in the name of religion in the name of caste right so we will not get divided and we will only focus on our uh, practice so that uh, that we need to focus so this is the one uh, sutra that i came across on the buddha's views on the caste system he totally rejected the caste system and said that people who follow the 
path, people who follow the path, there is no difference uh, with which, in which caste they are born into. Right? So I hope this was useful. If you have any thoughts, feedback, reflections, do share in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya.